26, 2000. So it was a little nerve-wracking. Didn't show there. Gets Jimmy Rollins. Schilling, 6 Ks in the game. Top six, Arizona on 2 nothing. Luis Gonzalez of Nelson Figueroa, former teammate. Gonzalez, 48. He's one for two. Walk three times. D-backs, 2-1. Bottom six, tied at two. Pat Burl. The other way and deep. Schilling, giving up 32 home runs on the year now. Tied with Woody Williams for most. Phillies are up 3-2. Top 10, 3-3 with one out, Reggie Sanders. That's some heroics off Cliff Polite. Third homer in three days for Sanders. Arizona's up 4-3 in the bottom 10. Rounds the tying run on second, two outs. Young, young Kim. The save Saturday, the win Sunday. Striking out Marlon Anderson, no relation. 4-3 is your final. d back six straight win in extra inning games. Sanders' third extra inning home run. Schilling six frames. For Barry at Shea, third longest of his career at any stadium. Here against Outlier, he's been 5-0 in his last six home starts coming in, and Barry grounds out, but the Giants take the lead when Rich Aurelia scores. 1-0, bottom three now, still 1-0, two on, one out, to five. Connect to Mundo. Edgardo Alfonso's 15th of the season. The Mets on top, just like that, 3-1. Top four, same score, Bonds. Barry Bonds. The drought could be over, number 56, no. Instead, it'll be number two. Second triple of the season. Bonds hustling all the way. He would score on a big cat sacrifice. Flies a 3-2 ball game. Bottom seven, runners on the corners, tied at three. Matt Lawton. Lawton with a couple of knocks on the night. He's been struggling a bit. The average not great. Ray Ordonez comes to the plate. Mets take a 4-3 lead. Just like that, you spun it around the graphic. It's 6-3, and Bonds grounding into the 3-6-3 double play. Mets had to survive a rally when Marvin Bernard went yard off Armando Benitez, but they hang on to win it by a count of six to five. Bonds, game tied at one. John Burkett dealing to Sean Green. Logs on, and he is part of the Gone Network for the 22nd time since the All-Star break. 42 overall, 2-1 Dodgers. It's a 3-2 game when Eric Gagne gets chipper, and chipper not really amused with Marty Foster. Next inning, Eric Karros, the one-two count. He takes what they call a ball. Karros ended up getting a hit, and Chipper and Bobby Cox got into it. You know Bobby's going to get run. Bobby barely <laughs> gets out there, and they ask him to leave. Threw Chipper out, too. There was still a Jones left. Bottom of the eighth, Andrew. He has been mired in a horrible slump, hitting just a buck 67 since July 27th, but he went yard twice in this game, 27 on the year. Braves win it 9 to 2. Just Atlanta's third win in 11 home games. Angels bottom of the ninth. Mariano Rivera trying to close things out. David Eckstein with two outs had other ideas. Jorge Fabregas lugging it home. Six blown safe for Rivera. Game tied at six. Bottom 10, Mike Stanton now on Garrett Anderson. The man on second, nobody out, and Anderson, three for five, drove in a couple, including the gamer. A walk-off hit. Angels win it seven to six. Shane Spencer at his ninth career four RBI game, but it goes for naught as the Yankees fall for the seventh time in their last 10 road games. Tigers and A's in Oakland spot Detroit a five-zip lead. Miguel Tejada, the man on Earth's full go home. Two run homer is 20 50. was three for four. Ace cut the lead to 5 2. Jason Giambi against Jeff Weaver. Not a good matchup for Weaver. Giambi's fifth home run off Weaver. He's seven for 12. Ace cut the lead to 5 4. 31 homers on the year. Bottom seven. Jason Giambi on third. Terrence Long delivers. Matt Parrish show gives it up. Giambi scores seven six A's. Now we got to hold on. Top nine. Jason Kidsringhaus. Randall Simon. Looking, not happy. Oh, I should. He's hitting like with a number two pencil there. Next batter, Shane Halter. Frank Medicino got it. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Double play. We're done. 26 save and 35 ops for Isringhausen. A's win at 7 6. Corey Lotto, five runs in four innings. The shortest start since April. On Saturday, bottom first scoreless game. Pedro, Mike Lamb. Mike Lamb could not catch up with that one. Later in the first two out, Rafael Palmero goes down. But in the bottom of the second, somebody going to get a bat on ball against Pedro Martinez, and it would happen to be Ricky Lede. Gabe Kapler going to come around to score, and the Rangers take the lead one zip. Bottom four. They got one in the third. Mike Young homering for the second straight game, his eighth of the year. Three nothing Rangers. Pedro gave up three and four innings, threw 71 pitches, 11 over his limit, and then checked out. Top five Red Sox down three-one. The bases chuck. Carl Everett, the grounder. There's Lamb. 
Kid's got a good, well, not strong enough for him. That one gets away. A couple of runs will score on the throwing air. We are tied at three. Bottom six, you go from Pedro to Tim Wakefield. Lamb somehow gets it right this time. The RBI single scores a couple. The Rangers take the lead five to three. Top eight now, Sox got a 5-4 game. Got one out left in a trot. Nixon, Mike Young getting over, making the pick and the throw. Rafi snags that one, and the Rangers get themselves a win. 5-4, they're 21-20 against the American League East this season. Pedro again, four innings pitch, six hits, two earned, four Ks, one walk. Still has a Sporting a larger earring, Lou. Lou might get a piercing, who knows? That would look good on Lou, it would work for him. Top nine, 3-2 Mariners. Two on two out in our Diaz against Jeff Nelson and ball four. Base is now loaded, so Lou decides that's enough for Nelson and he brings Rhodes in from the bullpen to get the last out. Diamonds are a man's best friend. Neil Diamond should play when Rhodes comes into the game now. Tim McClellan, who tossed him on Saturday, asked him to lose the earring. He does. Rhodes facing Kenny Lofton. Perhaps the earring, much like Samson's hair, is source of power. Lofton with the knock. He was four for five. He drove in four. And the Indians take a 4-3 lead after Burks and Cordero score. The next batter, Rhodes Powell, Powell and former jewelry admirer, Omar Vizquel. And Rhodes gets him swinging to keep it a one-run ball game. Bottom nine, four, three. Indians bases loaded for each row. He was five for eight in such situations this season. Now he's five for nine. Bob Wickman making the play at home. Base is still loaded, though. And two out. The next man is Mark McLemore, who had homered earlier. Little tap to short. This Kell, no jewelry. He's none to speak of, but gets a jewel of a play to finish off the game. The Indians win it by a count of four to three. The M's five-game winner is over, as is e I might need some help. That's all I'm going to say. Top six, Jose Canseco off Bobby C. And you can see it go. Solo homer is 12. It's at 281. 35 ribs. And the White Sox win it 3-2. Jays finish a sweep. He's healthy. He's not running. Sosa hit the high fly ball. Deep right center. Back row through near the wall. Gone! Number 50 for Sammy Sosa. To borrow from Barry Switzer, he hung half a hundred on it. <laughs> Two zip Cubs, but wait, Sosa, his 16th home run in August, fouls in the fifth off Dustin Hermanson. Four zip Cubs, that's number 51. Record for August in the NL, 17 by Willie Mays. Bottom seven runners in first and third, Sosa. Nice to mix in the routine single on occasion. That one off Mike Timlin. Four RBI in the day for Sosa, 133 in the year. Cubs win it by a count of six to one. Sosa's ninth multi-homer game of the season gets rookie Juan Cruz his first win. Skipper Don Baylor thinks his man's going to pass Bonds and win the homer title, and he is bonkers in August, hitting 419, the 16 homers, 34 RBI, all tops. In National League Central, so they're not worried about the card at the moment. Taking on the Pirates, Ron Valone had to start for Pedro Estacio. Got Gary Matthews Jr., then Jack Wilson, then Brian Giles. Struck out eight over five and a third. Bottom four, Astros up 1-0. First and third for Kevin Young. Lugo diving. Second to first, Biggio making the turn. Young not happy with himself. Run would score on the play, no RBI. Scoring call. I'm sure you're not watching a highlight show. Top of the six, tied at one, Richard Hidalgo. Hidalgo's only hit of the game. He's got 67 RBIs, courtesy of good hustle from Lance Berkman. Brian Giles made a good throw, but they couldn't make the connection. Astros win it. 3-1. to one. The Astros, the second best hitting team in the National League. They've won 8 out of 10 despite scoring 3 runs or fewer. The Expos, Ken Griffey Jr., Adam Dunn, Major League. Lil Warren. We're waiting to see if they can outdo their gridiron counterparts in Cincinnati. Saturday night, Bengals and Bills, Neil Rackers with a three-pointer, and then the first inning in Montreal, the Reds get three runs. Coincidence? I think so. Saturday night, the former Gamecock, Brandon Bennett, going in for a touchdown run. The Bengals have 10 points. Oh, in the second inning on Sunday, the Reds get five runs, so they're catching up. I think there's a correlation here. The numbers turn very fast. The mayor scoring, junior scoring. Now 10 nothing after the Reds get four in the fourth. Reds had a 12 nothing lead. Nine runs in there gives them that lead. And then Adam Dunn off of Britt Reams, whose brother is a football player at Clemson, as we complete this entire football baseball scenario. Dunn homers to right. And the Reds win it by a count of 17 to 4. Only over 11,000 showed up on dog day. King Griffey Jr. said he couldn't bring his dog because it was an attack dog. Jr.'s been pretty vicious on pitchers. 14 of 29, 4 homers, 11 RBI in his last seven games. Rockies beer makers, Miller Park. Top five scoreless, Larry Walker, Ruben Cavado, and please don't drink and slide. 
Walker's 33rd. All the offense Colorado would get. The three-run homer, and they would hold on to win it by a count of 3-2. Kevin Jarvis pitched six-hit ball for seven innings. D'Angelo. At least top one, Greg Maddox almost gets his head taken off by Paul Aduka, who delivers Adrian Beltre. It's 1-0 L.A. Beltre, 3 for 4 Monday. Top three, Maddox facing Gary Sheffield and Sheff. Chase of the off-speed stuff outside ends the inning. Maddox struck out seven Monday. Bottom five, Terry Adams facing Paul Bacco, who's busting out of a one for 24 slump down the right field line. Ray Sanchez trots home. They're going to wave Wes Helms all the way from first. Bacco wants three, and he's just not fast enough, but still, it's 2-1 Braves now. Top six, Maddox facing Sheffield again, lines into a DP. Maddox works seven, allowed just the one run on five hits, and left with a 2-1 lead. But in the eighth, Bobby Cox wants Jose Cabrera to face Sheff. First pitch to Sheffield. Say hello to my little friend. Three-run shot is 31st. Jose, your thoughts? Thank you. Dodgers sold on 4-2. They take three of four in the series. Braves struggling at Turner Field. 31 for Bonds and the Giants Monday. Shoshi Shinjo meeting with the Japanese Little League champs. Bonds playing Monday afternoon after a night game. Top four, John Vanderwall off Kevin Apier to center. And Shinjo showing off for those Little Leaguers. And they love him as Vanderwall gets robbed of a home run. Top five, Rich Aurelia. No one's going to get that one. Is 28th, and the Giants take a 2-1 lead. Next guy up for San Fran, it's Barry, who hadn't homered at Shea since May of 95. The 1-0 pitch to Bonds, and Bonds hits a high drive into right field. This one is way back. They're at the wall. Shinjo leap, and it is out of here. Career homer number 550. Back-to-back -back shots give the Giants a 3-1 lead. Bonds fastest to 56 in big league history. Bottom eight, Shinjo. And he's still showing off. He knew this one was gone, too. His eighth of the year. And you know what? The kids love him. We are at side at four. Top nine, J.T. Snow facing Rick White. J.T. to center is seventh on the year in his second of this series. And Dusty's Giants have a 6-4 lead. High fives in the ninth, a 54-minute rain delay. They get back out there for the home half. Giants up 6-5, tying run on third. Rob Nen gets Todd Zeal, Met fans. San Francisco wins 6-5, averting the four-game sweep at Shea. San Fran now half game up on the Cubs for the National League wild card and three and a half behind Arizona for the NL West lead with the Giants set to begin a three-game set at Bank One Ballpark Tuesday night. Some Phillies finishing up four at the Vet. Top second, Robert Person getting the start against Reggie Sanders. Oh, let's flash back to May 13th. Phillies in Arizona. Sanders cranks his 11th home run of the season off Person. So later in the game, Person takes a 20-calorie bite out of his shoulder. He got a six-game suspension because they came out and danced and kind of said nasty words to each other. We go back to Monday. Sanders first to bat against Person and the second pitch. His 29th home run of the season. It's a new career high. Fourth in four days. One zip Arizona. Top third. Tied at one. Two on. Two outs. And Luis Gonzalez goes down on strike three and he's not happy with Matt Hollowell. Gives him an earful. I got a bobble to doll. I got triplets. You can't do that to me. I'm hitting 340. Stayed 1-1. Marlon Anderson, no relation. Base hit off Albie Lopez. Doug Glanville, he'll score. 2-1 fills. Anderson got an eight-game hitting streak. He's over on second. Top eight, now 3-1. Tie and run at the plate. Matt Williams against Person. He was 0 for 4. Person now 11 strikeouts, 146 Ks, and 167 innings this year. And top nine, Jose Mesa. It's Craig Colburn to save his 34th and 36 tries. And the Phillies win it by a count of three to one. So the Phils come out with a split 2-2. Two -two. Person doing the lion's share of the work. Five. This he no hit the podge. May 12th, Phil Nevin popped out the short to end the game. Burnett the third no-no in Marlin history after Al Leiter and Kevin Brown. Just 65 of his 128 pitches were for strikes, though. And we continue that theme Monday. Top one, first hitter of the game, D'Angelo Jimenez, and uh, there goes the no-hitter. Top five, runners on the corners, Burnett working to Damian Jackson, and Damian Jackson is 
We've got a Jackson to his fourth. I don't know what that means. Burnett tag for seven runs on eight hits and five. He walked five. Eight three Padres. So much for the no no. AJ Burnett loses for the fifth time in six decisions. Padres win the final three games of the four game set by a combined score of 25 to 4. In those three games, Marlins pitchers gave up 33 hits and 32 walks, including eight in this game. Bucks beer makers in Miller Park. Milwaukee hadn't won a series of home since May. Bottom four, Jeremy Burnett's bat. Uh oh, they got the shift on, and look at that. Oh, yeah, White Duck Street when you can lay it down the left side of the infield. Burnett's is safe. Next batter, Richie Sexton. Why don't you all come home? Sexton now, 10 game hit streak and ties. Spear high with 31 homers. And the game's tied at three. Bottom six, Brewers up 6 4, and there's a new. High in home runs for Sexton is 32nd now. A three-run shot. He passes Lupinell on the all-time list. 104 to 102. Don't drink and slide. Brewers go up 9-4, win it by a count of 12-5. With Sexton's help, Rocky Cobbinger wins for the first time since October.